Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and listen. One last extra, please. I feel like every video has sort of an apology, and I'm so sorry for again being late with videos. But you know, come to Cambridge, go to Oxford, then you'll realise how the struggle is real. At Cambridge, you do so many essays. At Oxford, they just do orgies, I don't know, I don't know what they do, I don't know. That's why I've been so bad with uploads, but listen, I had 27 essays in the space of eight weeks. With two weeks left of term, or two and a half weeks of the term, I have seven essays. You guys, I'm on a roll, I'm killing it, I'm, well, I'm not killing it, I'm just, I'm just passing by slowly, waiting for death. In the snow. Bitch, where the fuck did this snow come from? I'm telling you, I said on my Instagram, Elsa, who f you? Who is with you Elsa, I'll beat them up for you. You don't need to be doing all this drama, drama. Just tell me who it is. Give me their name and I just them up. Elsa, I got you, bitch. I got you. But seriously, guys, this time I thought we'd go back to study ibs and I thought we'd do like a January such favorite video, but just student related. Yes, this is the first ever video like this. That's a joke, there's probably billions of them. But this is the first time that I'm doing one and I really hope it's fine. Also, shout out to shout out to Salmon. Salmon, I've met you before. You always follow me on Twitter, you always tweet me, always Show so much love. He's a massive Taylor Swift fan and he's just so, 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 so cool. So I love you, Sam. This video is for you. And apart from that, let's just get into it. This video, I'm gonna talk about the different favorite things I found while being a student at uni. So what has helped me be a student here? Obviously, Cambridge is very different to every single other uni in the world. And I'll do a whole separate video about that. But anyways, let's start off with the first thing, which is just being a student on the regs. So one thing that has helped me revise and helped me study. For those who don't know, I do a different course this year. Last year, I did Humanity, Humanity, HSPS. This year, I'm doing a course called Psychological and Behavioral Sciences. And it's very scientific. So what has helped me, believe it or not, Flashcards, let me show you this shit. I would have never thought this would help me because if you are doing, if you're doing, oh, come on, money. Come on, money shot. Get it, get it, bitch. Oh no. If you watched me from my last videos, I would have always said essay plans, essay plans, essay plans, and yes, essay plans, definitely. Because two of my papers this year are very scientific, it's not just like essays and how I write and how I link things, it's more like, do you know? how the brain works. What goes on within the brain? What goes on within this side of the brain? What happens when you see things? What happens when you hear things? This is even psychology, believe it is. Statistics. Statistics. When's the last time I did maths? I'm 22, I did maths when I was 16. You do the maths. So doing diagrams of like what an eye looks like, what goes on within the eye, how statistics work, like analyze statistics, graphs, bar charts. I didn't do any of this during my A-levels or last year. HSPS. So all this is new to me, but those are some of the vision things I've been doing. And guys, seriously though, like what I really have been following is my revision video. Like I didn't do that for bands, I didn't do that for views. I'm not gonna keep redoing a revision video because I did all of those things that I currently do. But one thing that definitely has helped me is I've been going to different libraries, and I guess that's the benefit of Cambridge University. Is that you can go to I went to the chemistry library the other day, which is so freaking nice. Chemist. I'm going to a law library, which is so freaking nice. Laws. I went to Homerton College Library. Shout out to Homerton College, I love you guys so much. I went to the Education Library, which is so fun. And I've been going with different people, and the best thing again about Cambridge is that like a lot of these people are very smart, so they're all like, I'm gonna study, I'm gonna do this. I think when you surround yourself with people who constantly study, who are like, so hardcore, it makes you hardcore, because it's like, if you're on your phone, they're gonna watch you, then they're gonna cuss you. So sometimes, revising with people who are so driven, and I am as well! Like, I used to slap people when I was a tutor and people didn't study. I used to get a water bottle and spray them. I'm good too. Now, the next thing is what's been helping me these past few months, like, stay organised. First of all, A-level students, go watch this video because it's, it's the truth and that is how I organise on a budget as a boat bitch. Calendars helped me so much. And this month, you know that I moved into a new flat. So I didn't have my calendar for the past two weeks because I had to, like, throw it away because I had to move. And my life has been chaotic. I'm like, what am I going? What am I doing? What am I doing? I brought my calendar back. I've been using it and it's perfect. Having a calendar, especially for someone like me who does extracurricular activities, I'm the vice president of a society. I'm the online ambassador. For, oh, I can't say it yet. I'm, I'm working with an access project. I'm thinking of running for PAXOC publicity officer. Maybe. Maybe. Basically, I do a lot of extracurricular activities and so because of all the extracurricular activities, having a calendar is just so important, you guys. Like, it's just, you need to, and not on your phone, because your phone is just weird. I can't 
my phone is weird. I have to have a calendar which I see every single day. I have a monthly one. I have a termly one, so I have it by term. But I might do the daily thing. I think it might be good for daily motivation, especially when exam season is approaching so soon. Ah. But I always say organize and help you be a student is to socialize, believe it or not. Like you can't just wake up every single day and study every day. I know some people can, and I think that is great or done to you. Bitch, I am not boring like that. I need to go out, I need to go and see people, I need to stop and hold, I need to go out and party now and then. I'm a sociable person, I need to socialize, I need to have bats with people. So I go to a lot of events now and then. I don't go clubbing that much. I've been, only been clubbing twice this this time. But now I have a flat, I invite people over. We had like a dinner slash games party over there and it was like one of the best nights in Cambridge. It was so freaking lit. And whether that means we go to balls or we go to formals or we just chill as a group or we study together then we go for dinner afterwards or we study together and we have lunch afterwards or go to cafes and study there with people. I've been socializing a lot and it's actually been helping me. Some people find it bad, some people can't manage it. I can manage it because I feel like I feel so bad, I feel so guilty when I'm socializing about my work. So I'm more motivated to do my work or whenever I'm doing my work, I really want to go and socialize. So I just hurry up and do my work. So socializing and using that as a reward when studying or just studying with people while you're socializing is just been my favorite these past two months. I've done it so many times. Okay, now we're moving more towards like non-revision, student lifestyle stuff. So the other thing I would say that I have really, really liked this past two months is of course clothes. Yeah, let's be real. Look at the weather. It's snowing. I don't like snow. So jumpers and hoodies have been my life. River Island, the cell section, they have been great. Remember that pink jumper that I wore in my last video when I talked about the story time? Five pound at River Island. And even right now, what I'm wearing now, Zaful have sent me some stuff. Let me show you what they sent me. And it's all just like jumpers and hoodies, which have been beautiful. So Zaful sent me some items. And the first thing, let me just say this, whenever a company wants to send me stuff, I always say, an honest review on this because I'm gonna be real and although comp so many companies reject me because of that like I don't want to be one of those people who's just who just take my money so that was me this packaging is absolutely made like this is actually amazing I, I don't know if the money goes on here or because of the item but packaging is absolutely beautiful they sent me this t-shirt they sent me this beautiful velvet t-shirt everything will be linked below with prices they sent me this jumper this has gotten the most compliments of any jumper I've had even when I'm wearing it under like a hoodie people will love it like I said guys jumpers I don't know if it's getting warmer. I don't know if summer's even coming for Britain this year. So boy, jumpers, Zaffle, this is beautiful. Again, they sent me a turtleneck sweater, which again, compliment. And I wore this at the vlog bridge um, reception or ceremony. So basically, Cambridge were doing like a vlogging competition and I was the judge. And so a bunch of first year students who were interested in vlogging submitted some stuff and I wore this and I looked really good. They also sent me this, which is very bright. Um, it's very bright. You'll never see me at a club and then the one time you do see me come out, I'll be wearing this. The only issue I have with the Zapple stuff is that the sizing is a bit weird. So for example, some of these are like large and medium. I'm a small in the UK. So if I'm gonna order from there, just bear that in mind, the sizing. So the last jumper they sent me was just a snuggly, what is it called? Faux fur, faux fur jumper. And again, because of the weather, all the jumpers I'm wearing have been perfect. And they're definitely quality because everyone's been complimenting them and they do feel good. The prices are always going to be linked down below. And it is an American company, so you will have to pay customs. Patricia Bright, Patricia Bright, who I absolutely love and obsessed with. She did a video on them. So make sure you watch that as well. But yeah, if you want to check out Zaffle, check out them. So jumpers, sweaters. Oh! Zaffo sent me these as well, wristbands. I, I'm literally wearing them every single day, I didn't even realize. But I did wear this outfit when I went to the Pakistan Society Ball. Can we just pre the outfit please? Me and Christina, we won. Yeah, we were best dressed. There wasn't a competition, but we were best dressed, bitch. Now moving on to more fun things, entertainment. Let's be real. Just because you're a student doesn't mean that you can't watch TV and who would I be without my shows? When I'm studying nine to five, or whenever I do my hours, the one thing I look forward to is dinner and watching my shows. How to get away with murder. One day at a time, which is on Netflix. Watch it. I'm telling you, go watch it. You actually talk about so many political issues, but in a very humorous and funny way. Riverdale, of course, I haven't catched up on. Grace and Frankie, I've been loving this couple of months. The Walking Dead is a joke right now. It's the walking snooze, it's the walking nap, because I don't know what's going on, I just had to dead that. But How to Get Away with Murder and One Day at a Time are my favorite things I've been watching. And I definitely do think that you should give yourself some time to relax, but 
one episode, not two. Two turns for three, three turns for four. And if you're gonna watch them at night, make sure you watch them for dinner. Don't watch them at night when it's bedtime because you're not gonna sleep, yeah? Take it from me, bitch. But one thing I do watch when I am in bed is YouTubers, and I think that's just because they're not as thrilling as a show, but they're just calm YouTubers. Ace Family, Patricia Bright, that is it. And in terms of motivation, they definitely do motivate me because they are still on their grinds with this upload, with this business stuff, with this outside venturing stuff. They do a lot. And so it definitely inspires me to like wake up and study. Because fair enough, I know that I sometimes motivate you guys, but I also need motivation and that definitely comes from like them. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for this video. There is so much more I want to talk about. I want to talk about beauty. I want to talk about folder organization. I want to talk about freaking reading. I want to talk about food. But there's only so much of my video. Get me to 3,000 likes and I will do this next month. I'm so sorry for all the late videos, but guys, this is what Cambridge is like. It gets more intense as you go. And if there's one thing I want to get across this video, is that sometimes you do need to put other things on hold for you to hustle and for you to grind. My degree is so important to me. And yes, I will keep saying Cambridge, Cambridge, Cambridge because it's so hard here. Because Oxbridge is universally known to be so hard and it definitely lives up to the expectations because we are struggling now here. But we doing it, we doing it. Comment down below any of your monthly favourites and one of you guys will get shouted out next video. But what is one thing that you've been loving this past month be that to help you study, to help you be motivated, to be organised? Let me know down below. And above from that, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because those are the two things I'm always popping on Instagram specifically because the new update for Snapchat is driving me crazy. I need to breathe. Okay, bye. I love you guys. Mwah. I'm so excited right now because I'm making doll. RuPaul's Drag Race, forgot to say, that show All Stars Free. That has been my shit right now. But I've been picking up so many different sayings every single time. Come on, light. Come on, MacBook. Come on. MacBook Pro, come on, iMac, come on, phone, come on, Asian, come on, yellow teeth, come on, plaque, come on, hair, come on, diarrhea. Guys, I had diarrhea today. And like I said in the video, guys, if you want to watch other videos on how to study and how to be organised, make sure you click on these two, make sure you subscribe here, because my, I'm coming back. My return to YouTube will be banging. Watch, watch, watch when time finishes.